Hello everyone, I'm Bill and welcome to Triliners, the show about catching catfish for the common man. In this video we're going to talk about one of the most common myths you've probably heard about catfish. And that myth is that you need a smelly, stinky, rotten, putrid, foul, rancid bait to catch catfish. Because that people think that catfish are scavengers and strictly bottom feeders. Bottom feeders that skulk around the bottom of the rivers looking for whatever's dead and floated to the bottom just so they can eat to survive. You know, the stinky baits. Rotten chicken liver, spoiled cheese, rotten fish, other homebrew concoctions for catfish that's primary goal is to smell as rancid as possible. To call fish in from literally miles up and down the river to eat this rotten stinky bait. Nothing could be further from the truth. All you're doing is making yourself miserable by using these rotten, nasty concoctions that probably aren't going to catch fish as well as a fresher, cleaner, a lot less messier bait. Examples of baits that I don't consider to be too smelly and are easy enough to get are like worms. Get a shovel, go out in the yard, dig up some worms. You don't want to buy them because they've gotten expensive these days. Go to the grocery store, get you some fresh chicken liver. Everybody's used chicken livers for catfish. Hot dogs. Hot dogs work, believe it or not. Hot dogs can be a great bait for pond catfish. Soap. Soap has been used for years as a catfish bait. Uh, mussels. Shad. Fresh cheese. Crawfish. Perch. Minnows. The list goes on and on. Freaking spam. Charles Ashley Jr. of Marion, Arkansas caught a 116 pound, 12 ounce blue cat in the Mississippi River at West Memphis. The world record on rod and reel at that time on frickin' spam. And it wasn't even regular spam, it was like spicy spam, but the point was it was not rotten and stinky and foul. For God's sakes, people use chewing gum. I don't know how what kind of luck they have with it, but like the big league chew, people are using chewing gum to catch catfish. Dog food. Dog food, some varieties of dog food make an excellent catfish bait. One of my favorite baits for eating size channel cats is Doc's uh, dip bait. They call it a stink bait, but it don't smell nowhere near as bad as some of these uh, rotten chicken liver concoctions that people are coming up with. The thing people forget is these catfish are actually apex predators. They're opportunistic. If they come across something that's edible they are going to eat it but that does not make them a scavenger. I've caught channel cat on bass lures at the lake. That bass lure was not on the bottom of the lake. These fish are aggressive. They like to eat other fish. They like live things. It doesn't have to be dead, smelly, and stinky to attract fish. You don't see us baiting these trout lines out with rotten chicken livers. We use live bait and usually cut bait. Flathead don't like rotten, dead, stinky things as, as much as the channel and blue cats do from time to time. Remember, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great time out on the water, and do yourself a favor. Try a little bit fresher bait if you're one of these people that's hooked into these gross baits.